The prerequisites for this move is the straddle grip. Okay, here is the overview. Alright, as you can see from the performance, I'm definitely not good at this move. But I'm still going to teach it to you, I'm sorry. Please don't dislike this video because of that. But the reason, uh, I mostly just do, in a lot of flourishes, I just do half uh, scissor cuts, okay? So, I'm just going to tell you right now, this the whole scissor cut is going all the way and actually cutting the cards like that. And just half would just be going from here to here. And then squaring it back up. Back up. Alright. So, to do the scissor cut, you're going to start in straddle grip. And, uh, you should probably run the straddle grip cut actually before this, but, yeah. So, you're going to drop half of the packet, alright? Like that. Because you're going to start an elevated straddle grip and then drop half of the packet, alright? So, from here, you should be able to grip the cards with, uh, just your the top packet with just your index and your pinky and make sure this is your left hand remember if you are right handed Okay. so you want to bring your thumb uh, back on this bottom short edge, the short edge closest to you Okay. and you want it near the left side alright so from here what you want to do is let go with your pinky alright and you notice you should be holding it in your thumb and index finger and you should be able to swivel it Okay. So you want to swivel, keep swiveling until you can't swivel anymore, alright? So you should be about at this point. From here you want to push down with your middle ring and pinky, so that it goes like that. And this packet should go underneath. And from here is the easy part, just drop everything and square up and straddle it, alright? So when I first learned this move, I thought it was impossible if you have small hands, but as you can see, uh, it's not. If you have small hands, don't give up. Alright, this is what it looked like when I first learned it. Okay. Uh, one tip, it, uh, you might want to start with half of the deck when you learn this, alright? So, that is the straddle grip. Takes a lot of practice. Now, you actually don't want to do this flourish by itself, really. It's not really a flourish by itself. But I have seen one way to do this flourish, uh, if you just want to present this one, is if you're and but if you can do it with both hands, and then what you would do is uh just like be going like this with your left hand in a clockwise motion, and then take your right hand and then do it, and then your left hand and then your right hand, and I think that looks pretty cool. So that would be a way to perform this force by itself. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.